Hi everyone, it's Anna from TechHut and today I've got a collaboration video for the top 5 2016 apps. And the collaboration video is with Otech Time, Mr. Tutorial Guy, Android Tech and Tech Authority. And I would like to thank all of these YouTubers for letting me be in this collab video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. This is Anna from TechHuts and my favourite productivity app is called Do. It's a very simple app which allows you to make to-do lists. The app is completely free but sadly is only available for iOS. Within the app you can set dates for a specific time you want something done, set reminders and alarms and add colours to the items on your to-do list. To add an item to your list it's very simple all you have to do is type the task in at the top and hit enter. And when you have completed a task, you just need to double tap it and the task will be crossed out. Furthermore, to delete items from your to-do list, just swipe to the left and hit delete. Overall, I really like this app as it's very simple and easy to use. However, I wish it was available for Android users too. What's good YouTube? You know what time it is. It's your boy O, aka Brooklyn Don, coming to you today with another video. Alright, so let's jump straight into it. I'm about to show y'all a dope app that's going to help out with mad enough battery life. I've been using it for about a week now, and it's been definitely helping me out, especially when I'm not using my device. So basically, the app's called Doze, D-O-Z-E. It's an app that while your phone is off, I'm talking about like the screen is off, it's not drawing all that power that apps normally do when they start, uh, you know what I mean, your notifications, your emails, all that good stuff, so like Facebook, Instagram, all of that, Snapchat, anything that draws all that power to seek out that uh, notification information that you need, it goes to sleep, so kind of like power saving mode, but when you get into your phone, it powers it back up unless you use the app, so this is what the app looks like. Little breakdown. Data basically consumes all the power, so those puts those apps to sleep until you get back into it. And then you got special features that you can utilize within those to make sure certain apps can still receive those notifications while other apps are put to sleep while the screen is off. It works on Android 5.0 and up, and oh, excuse me, KitKat and up, and then. Not sure about you, you Apple heads out there, but it got a nice little interface or whatever. That's what it looks like, all the different screenshots they got. Within the settings, you can put it in aggressive mode. You got Wi-Fi preferences, you got charging preferences, and then you can disable the notification of every time you unlock your screen, it gives you a little notification saying, hey, welcome back, blah, blah, blah. And then you can uh, specifically tell certain apps to still receive those notifications while the screen is off so if you know you got emails certain emails you still need to come through certain facebook messages or facebook you know app notification that you want to see or you know get right into as soon as you unlock your phone this is the app that'll definitely take care of all of that and still save you on battery life with those extra apps that's doing the most but that's what i wanted to let y'all know about those download that now dope app get that but until then, you know what time it is. It's your boy O, signing out of O's Tech Time. Till next time, stay blessed. Peace. Hey guys, I'm Zuhar, also known as Mr. Tutorial Guy and my part of collaboration is here and I'm reviewing an application called Zen UI Launcher. Guys, this launcher is pretty good. The animations, transitions, everything about the launcher looks really great. Zen UI is one of my favorite UI and uh, there's a lot of customizability that you can do with this launcher. So guys, here are some highlighting features of this launcher. First of all, there's iOS like Spotlight Search and you can customize the icons however you want so you can choose between icon size you can label uh, label icon color and there's also manage home where you can manage different settings of this launcher 
and you can also lock applications from this launcher if you want and these are also preferences built into this launcher guys uh, this this is pretty self-explanatory self stuff but i feel that this launcher is really good and really deserves a spot on your phone so guys be sure to download this launcher if you like it and if you like my part of collaboration be sure to give it this video a thumbs up and guys we hope to see you later till then peace Android tech here so my favorite app would have to be Aptoid I literally use Aptoid all the time to download paid apps for free this app has saved me lots of money it's simple and very easy to use anyways you won't find this app in the Google Play Store because they took it down long time ago considered it was illegal you will have to go to the internet browser and search for Aptoid now you will click the first link that pops up now it'll take you to this site where you can download it and install it Click the download button and it'll install and download. Yes, it's that simple. Now launching the app, you will get this interface and from here you could search from a paid app. You could search a paid app or a game, a paid game, and you will be able to install it completely for free on, on here. So I totally recommend if you are type of that person that likes to install paid apps but don't want to spend their money. So that's it for this video guys. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and also comment down below. And yeah, that's it. Hey guys, this is Tech Authority and I will be reviewing the app iFixit Repair Manual. Now most of us mess with things and do something stupid which will either break it or stop it from working. And we would end up in Google searching for the repair or fix. But now you don't have to go to Google but instead you can use this app as this app will give you step by step guide along with images to repair or fix anything. And also this covers a wide range of categories so now we can have a quick look at the app. So guys this is the iFixit app. Now over to the menu you have search wherein you can search for stuff then you have browse devices wherein you can browse through different categories uh, then you have parts and tools feature guides teardowns and then you can also manage your own account wherein you can favorite a guide you can also create your own guide and you can also manage it. Now when you go into a particular guide it will have a guide section and you will have a question and answer section and also a section which is completely dedicated to the device information and yeah that's it guys pretty much uh, so this is a pretty cool app and it's very useful so it's worth giving it a try so give it a try. So that's the end of this collaboration video and the links to everyone's channels will be down below. So thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this.